Many people ask me, you being an apologist, why do you talk about sex and pornography? For this reason, I am an apologist and what I call an evidential apologist. Apologists mean to set forth positive reasons why you believe. And that's what I believe God's call in my life is. But here's the problem. I learned years ago that when you present truth outside of the context of relationships, it's so often rejected. Here's a phrase. Truth without relationships leads to rejection. So I realized I needed to help parents and others to develop a relationship for their children so as they presented truth that it would be accepted. So that's what I call relational apologetics. Well, then in relational apologetics, there are certain barriers that keeps a person, especially a young person, from trusting Christ or accepting the truth. And that is morality. Uh, this is why a number of years ago I launched the Why Wait campaign because I realized kids being involved in and everything else becomes a moral barrier to accepting truth about Jesus Christ, the Bible, about God, about uh, the scriptures. And so that's what I call moral apologetics. Now, with moral apologetics, it changes as culture changes. And I realized about seven, eight years ago that probably the greatest barrier today to someone coming to Christ is the issue of pervasive internet pornography. And if I do not address the barriers to people coming to truth, then I am not in the calling of God upon my life. So I need to deal with classical apologetics, relational apologetics, and moral apologetics. And that's what the Josh McDowell ministry is based upon.